From conception to this very moment, we have been maturing and developing into our own personalities and identities. However, there are a few who can take that human right and magnify it, letting those around them see how there's no right way to be an individual. The amplification of this is more than just a flashy garment or an internet persona, but it can be a rising voice in the world of suppression and a new influence to a new generation. At the prime ages of 16, 17, and 18, we have been taught that the standard of cultural conformity was strongly encouraged during the 1950s, but left a permanent stain on American society by proof of many of our generation's opinions and movements to reflect their oppositions to change. However, in the last few years, various organizations and programs have emerged, not only nationally, but in our very own home, K-Park. No Place for Hate was formed with the intention of promoting and accepting one's inner beauty by the mass population. The students who have helped create No Place for Hate have come up with all sorts of activities, slideshows, and discussions for teachers to show their students in hopes to help Cape Park learn to embrace each other's differences. To them, there is no right way to be a teenager. First of all, there's no real bullying. Yeah, it's more of just like people who are really weird, they feel like they're being targeted because they're a person and not because they're really weird. You know what I mean? Like many, Devon believes that you can promote individuality without involving the entire student body. To him, by doing your own thing, it would inspire others to express themselves too. If there's something about like self-confidence or something, and then see what the results are. You don't know. Really so how do you think that like being yourself is affecting an individual's mental health? Oh, it's definitely an expression of freedom. For example, my parents prohibited me from wearing a lot of things I wanted to wear, like mom jeans, for example, because they wanted me to be normal and wear skinny jeans, be more feminine, you know, do my hair. I was really like frustrated and angry for a long time like I didn't know how to express myself for the longest time and it's just like now that they finally let me do what I want in regards to dressing um it's just more it just feels more comfortable to be in my own skin kind of thing recently younger generations seem to be helping others learn to accept themselves no matter what flaws they may have a primary factor of this is the birth of a gen z celebrity the social media influencer yes some of them may not be the best role models but if one thing is for certain people nowadays have a more diverse set of people they can look up to this can lead to more people being able to accept who they are and as studies have shown have better mental health which can lead to less people committing suicide one thing our society lacks in understanding is that 78% of suicides are male. The reasons for this can only lead back to society's constant need to push on toxic masculine traits onto young boys. Though in recent years, we have had many male celebrities be more open about their mental illnesses, sexuality, and overall way they choose to express themselves. Normally, people learn all about the women celebrities doing their best to tackle the male patriarchy. However, there is a definitely no shortage of male celebrities completely breaking out from society's masculine expectations. Ezra Miller and Keenan Lionsdale are known for breaking gender norms through their music, modeling, and even some of the characters they've played in movies. Through these mediums, they are able to express their gender identity and sexuality, helping the youth learn that they don't need to keep themselves hidden to make the rest of the world be comfortable. The way music influences our generation is more than a tune from our radio on a Friday night, but it's a part of our daily routines, our commutes to and from school, and physical interpretations of the things we feel in this day and age. Artists like Tyler the Creator, Billie Eilish, and Brockhampton are taking over the charts and pulling in youth not only for their musical content, but their visual designs as well. It is very easy to idolize celebrities, and though they can be great people to look up to, there is never really any sort of emotional connection between the two. 
That is why teachers are so important to young adults. Rather it be a mentor or a math teacher, they are physically present in their lives and can play a big part in the opinions and beliefs the students end up making. I like to intentionally poke and prod people because I want them to understand this not, there's no normal. We only, we culturally construct what is normal. And that's one of the reasons why I do like to push people and irritate them, if you will, because I want them to understand that what you or what me or what we perceive as normal doesn't make everyone else wrong. All in all, the effects of individuality are circumstantial, but when there are people using their personalities and self-expression to help encourage self-acceptance, you can expect an increase in the mental health of others. I mean, as long as you aren't hurting anyone, you should be free to be who you are. For doesn't everyone have the right to be happy?